Yo, it's been a minute, sir, early in this thing. Yo, what in the world is going on with this finesse two times, right? And NBA young boy. I don't know what the deal is. And like all this little beef and stuff be coming out of the woodworks. Like, like how did this person get the beef with this person or whatever the case may be? Like that P Diddy thing is simmering down, yo. Now, the talk is now like finesse two time and NBA young boy going back and forth. At first, before that, it was J. Cole and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Now, J. Cole supposed to have apologized or whatever the case may be. So, a little after that, now you have NBA Youngboy and uh, Finesse Two Time, a little back and forth surfacing. I don't know if NBA Youngboy posted a picture of <coughs> Finesse Two Time peoples or something, but I know recently Finesse Two Time posted a picture with him standing with a stack of money and then on the other picture is for um is NBA young boy um new girlfriend or whatever the case may be, fiance or whatever. So at the end of the day, I don't know what to say. Both of them boys is federal, meaning that NBA young boy is going through federal pretrial right now. Finesse two time has not too long ago got out of the um federal system, right? So he still looked at and still under some type of parole or something so at the end of the day people be it's just safe from the confinements in their own home when they dealing with this social media thing you get what I'm saying because when your entourage is meet and stuff like that those are the those, them, those are the people who to worry about when you beefing the stuff like these rappers and all of that it be the entourage and stuff so you best believe NBA young boy camp on be on finesse two time heels and it might be vice versa. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, is this stuff worth it? You get what I'm saying? What is it? Yo, we read the cause drama and stuff, yo. Make it look like we beefing and stuff. Some somebody ready to drop something as uh, far as an album project or whatever the case may be. And they trying to stir up the you know, stir up the fuss and stuff. So at the end of the day, that's my take on it. I don't, I, I'm not getting deep into it. I don't give a damn about it. You get what I'm saying? I'm going through some, I just, you know, lost, a, um, had the death of a loved one um, a few days ago. So I'm slowly picking myself back up. But at the end of the day, you got finesse two times and NBA young boy. The past week has been going back and forth, posting little stuff on social media. The last I seen is, but next two time posted every young boy's uh, fiance or significant other per se. You get what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, ain't now one of these cats going to meet up and put hands on one another. You get what I'm saying? So, it's going to be, if anything, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, if anything, it's going to be the entourage. You get what I'm saying? So, you'll see how this plays out. And then finesse two time, you was you was quiet as a mouse when Honeycomb Brazier was out here on your heels. Then when he gets um I mean when he gets incarcerated, you get what I'm saying? You comes out of the woodwork with all the antics and bull jive and stuff now. So people pick and choose. And no matter how big of a threat a person may be, if they feel like you can never get to them. The rah-rah is going to turn up. So meaning that if two individuals beefing real hard to the point where it's not going to be no fisticuffs, it's going to come to God there, pow, pew, pew, pew. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't care how tough you is or whatever the case may be. People know that they got money to the point where like, yo, you will never have to be in the same room as the person that you beefing with. Then you have other people that will give you heads up on stuff like, yo, such and such is going to be in the building today. You get what I'm saying? So that gives you a heads up with like, yo, if you really a person that's not about to smoke, then you will be on some stuff like, okay, he's going to be here tonight. Then I just won't come tonight. So forth. So at the end of the day, everybody know who to beef with and who to play with.
And that's the number one thing people be screaming. Man, don't play with my money. Don't play with my family. People, family be getting played left and right. Don't nobody do nothing. You get what I'm saying? And I was just thinking about that um, big joke. Yo got it, brother situation and stuff like everybody was torn, not torn, but people was coming at um, PRE camp and stuff like they got there, like taking L's and stuff like that. But the whole time people was really sliding in Memphis for Young Dolph. And it was un unbeknownst to us knowing because it wasn't social media um, business. It was street, real street politics. So you had Young Dolph Kemp and love loved ones going out here putting the law down on um Yo Gotti Kemp and individuals that they felt like had something to do with um Young Dolph's demise and stuff, right? So I was just thinking about this the other day about <clears throat> the, I mean not the other day, um before I did this video a few minutes ago, I was thinking about it. Like that big juke dude, like what yo got it gonna do about this? Like, it's a certain way to the point where he know like, and everybody know the fears, and everybody is like, kind of like looking and listening, trying to see what who's gonna retaliate and do this and that, right? So, I know yo got it gonna be smart about it, but I'm saying all of that to say this: Young Dolph and yo got it was so called beefing and stuff, right? But had money and stuff, right? Those individuals would never be in the same situation or same room because of of the venues and stuff like that, right? So while Yo Gotti is somewhere else in Italy working on the album and stuff out of the States, Young Dolph is in California or somewhere just traveling different places and stuff like that, right? So it's left the entourages be the ones that's like, yo, left stuff around, you know, to see one another and stuff. So that's how people be getting smoked out here. You get what I'm saying? So I was just thinking about this a few minutes ago, like, yo, yo, got it some darn well. At that funeral or some big, his brother funeral, he probably already to talk to people off the phone. You know, not around the phone and stuff, and already to put the get down down, and people already know what to do and what day and what week to do this and stuff. But that's how I was looking at it, like yo, you would never ever have to see the person that you beef with. Just for instance, per se, like Whack One Hundred is on this smear Big You campaign right now. If Big You was in your presence or convenient to get to you or you convenient to get to him nine times out of ten the beat i mean the sound from your flute will be playing the same tune if y'all understand what i'm saying this mug is six five kung fu mixed martial arts type dude big you is you get what i'm saying you on the other end Five, eight, five, nine, or whatever the case may be, a little stubby person with big arms and stuff. And how many people that we've been seeing with big arms? Foo, foo, foo. Night, night, sleep. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, people know who to got there and come for. And, and they just know, like, yo, we will never cross paths or brush elbows or whatever the case may be because of the venues that we are um, a part of. And and some people warn some people like, yo, you know such and such is going to be here or such and such is coming to do such and such. Some people stray away from it. Oh, he going to be here? Oh, I ain't going to be around that week or day or something. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't know where this NBA young boy and finesse two times little beef come from. And if you familiar with this channel, then you would know, like, yo, you said early don't be believing in none of the antics and um, bullshit. I always feel like it's some behind that, some behind it, for real. So that's my take on this NBA young boy and finesse two times. A little beef they got going on.
I'm back.